All right, welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to walk through how to use business rules in Dynamics 365 CE CRM. So uh, business rules are a lot of fun, uh, fairly user friendly. Um, so as an admin, you can go in and um, use business rules for a, a couple different things. You can use them for probably the, the most common is show hide logic. So as you can see, I'm in the sales hub here. I'm on a contact form and I've added this contact number. So this is an auto number field that is populating in the background. I have another video that shows how to create that. And we could add a business rule so that this field is not visible unless it contains data. We could also use uh, that same show hide logic for something um, separate. So maybe um, if the job title contains data show account name. Um, so, you, so you get the idea there. You could also set default values with business rules. Um, and, and there are some other um, options there as well. So we're gonna jump in. And what we're gonna do for this demo is similar to what I had laid out there up front where if this field contains data, we wanna show it. Otherwise we wanna hide it. So I'm gonna jump into the maker portal. So make.powerapps.com, a great admin tool. Uh, this is the, really the new configuration tool for Dynamics meant to replace the uh, classic customization tool. So if you're in make.powerapps.com, make sure you are in the correct environment for completing your work. And then either jump into a solution that you've already got created, you could build one, or you could go directly into the entity uh, now known as tables. Um, itself. So if I was to jump into tables and you do have to drop down data here, uh, if I was to jump into tables, I'm going to come and find contacts. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to then go to my business rules. So I've got uh, my columns, uh, which used to be called fields. I've got my views, business rules, forms, everything that you would have in the classic uh, configuration tool. So let's get into business rules here. We don't have a business rule currently on the contact table, so we're going to create one. We'll click create business rule, and that's gonna open up our business rule designer. So in this business rule, the first thing that I like to do is jump in and name it. So we're gonna say um, show contact number field. Okay, pretty simple, it's just a, a reference. We can collapse that. Once we save it, it is gonna rename it here. And then um, here in our uh, designer, we've got our first condition. So uh, this condition right now doesn't have a name. So we're gonna say, if contact number contains data. All right, so now down here below, um, our source is going to be our entity and we wanna look for that contact number field. So um, I'm gonna just jump down into contact number. Um, and then we, for our operator, we want it to be contains data. You have, you've got some other options here uh, for this property. Uh, but we're gonna choose contains data. It's gonna wipe out our other options below. And then uh, it's really important that you click apply. There was a little um, message icon there that's just kind of warning me, hey, you gotta click apply, otherwise it doesn't uh, take effect. You can see it updated then my condition here. So my if then statement already has, if contact number contains data, then, and now we need to add what's going to happen. We have two different ways to do that. So you can use this plus add button and I could come in then and say um, plus add and I can go down to set visibility. And if I do that, it's gonna ask me where do I want this um, condition uh, to take place? So I want to set visibility here to uh, show that field. So we're going to jump in again. We'll, uh, sorry, we'll go down to our contact number and we want that to be visible. And again, so I've got my, my uh, warning message here. They haven't been applied yet. Let's apply that. Um, and you know what? I didn't name it either. Um, contact number visible. Just a best practice to Make sure you're naming these steps as you're going through. So uh, if the contact number contains data, show the contact number. But we, we also wanna make sure that we're hiding it if it doesn't. So this is our happy path, obviously, but we wanna make sure we're hiding it if it doesn't. So um, I showed you the first way that you can add those components. 
The second way is over here. If I flip to this other tab, I've got my other actions available right here. So set visibility. All I have to do is drag this over. And now I've got uh, my, my second option here. So if then else, now I want to change my else. So we're going to come in, we're going to grab contact number again. And we don't want it to be visible. So if contact number contains data, then we're going to show the contact number field. If it doesn't, we're going to hide it. And just so that you're, you're aware of what else is optional in here for action. So we could lock it. Uh, we could show an error message, set business required, set a default value or field value, uh, or even added uh, recommendation. So um, a lot of options there. Actually, what we'll do too is if it contains data, let's lock it. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and again, we're going to choose that contact number field. And for status, we're going to leave it at lock. We'll apply it, change this to lock contact number, we'll apply to change the name. And here I really should have renamed this as well. Contact number not visible. All right, this makes it easy for someone coming in that maybe wants to update or verify your business rule to, to follow along with the different actions. So once we've uh, applied and we've verified what we want here, um, we can give this a save. And as soon as we save it, it's going to give us the option then to activate it. So there we're gonna activate this business rule it's going to ask us for a verification step if we want to activate. And as soon as it does that, we'll go ahead and click on activate. And then we can go in and test this out. So I've clicked activate. This will just take a second. Perfect. It's updating. Great. Let's go back onto our contact form and we'll give it a refresh. Refresh two times because that seems to be what I need to do on my end. And now you can see it's locked because it contains data. So if I was to uh, create a new one, that's not visible. It's an auto number field, but it's not visible because it doesn't contain any data. So we're going to say test two, test four for a name, and we're going to save it. That auto number field is going to populate and it's also going to be locked. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day. Thank you.